What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. This is the fifth video within our HTML tutorial for beginners video playlist. In this video we're going to be talking about the document structure and the layout. It's going to be an extension of what we've been covering so far but I'm going to show you some different options and how you can go about implementing those. All right so if you haven't already subscribed to the channel make sure to do so and hit the notification icon so when I release a new video you'll be notified. All right, so when you're creating a website, you might want to have different layout options. Like this is my main website here. So in this section, I have navigation on the left side, navigation and some images on the right hand side, and then the main content in the center. On my home page, the layout is different. I have this hero section over here. I have a two grid section over here, a three grid section here, and another three grid section here. On my blog page, it's a grid as well. But then in the individual articles, I have my main content in a standard typical layout. So by now you probably already know how to do this if you've been following along with my other videos. But let's just go over this. Let's go back to our editor. And this is where we left off. But actually, let me show you some images of some layout options as well. This is one option where we have the header on top. We have the navigation on the bottom of the header itself. Then we have on the left hand side our various articles. Then we have an aside. Then we have a footer. That's a pretty standard type of layout. Another option is we could have the header section. This whole box over here is going to encompass the logo area and our navigation area. And then we have our articles, the aside, and the footer. That's another option you might see often. And then another option, again, this would be the header area with the logo and the nav. We can have more of a grid section with the article here, article here, and then three article sections here, then an article, article, aside, and footer. You could pretty much do as you want in terms of laying it out as long as you group the tags properly. Let's go to our editor and see how that can happen. So let's say we're going to stay in this file here, the HTML5.HTML file. Let's say that we want to have the header with the nav inside of it. So we can go here, we can cut the navigation out and paste it inside of the header itself. And then we can use a div tag just to group what would be our site logo and tagline area together. And then our navigation would be to the right hand side. So imagine this for a second. This would be your logo area with the tagline on the left side and then your navigation on the right side. Now we're not implementing CSS yet. Now I don't want to jump ahead because there's still so much for us to cover with HTML. But I want to show you how you can use HTML to properly configure your layout so that way once you're ready to style it, your markup is going to be semantically coded. Again, you want to try to make sure your code validates. We have our header section here and that's going to encompass everything here. Now. Let's say over here, we're going to want to create another two grid area. So I'm just going to copy this over here, these two. Just going to copy, I'm not going to cut them. And maybe we're going to put in a section tag. But remember, we're going to have to make sure we have a heading for this. So let's put a heading here. Let's say these are featured articles. Okay. Let me get some separation here. Let's save that. Now let's see if by doing it this way with the H2 outside of the section still validates when we check this out in the browser. All right. So we save it. Let's go to the browser. Let's go to that page and reload it. Now let's view page source. Going to select all, copy and paste it. So in this case, unlike the previous one, we have to put the H2 inside. So let's see how that works. So here, let's cut that out, paste that there, or a matter of fact, we'll leave that out here. In here, we'll make that an H3. We'll copy that. And let's say, we're gonna call this featured one and this one feature two. Now let's see if that validates. Now remember, we're still leaving the featured articles up here, but we're creating the headings up here above the articles themselves. 
Let's go back to the browser, X out of this one, go back here, reload, view page source, select all, let's see if it validates now. And it does, there's no errors within our code. So we're good to go on that front. Now again, this is not styled out, so nothing's floating to the left and to the right, nothing's being positioned in terms of the page itself, but we're getting the structure the document structure and the layout for our website. Now let's go back to the editor and let's create a couple of more asides towards the bottom that would be, let's say above the footer section. If we go down here, outside of our main, as a matter of fact, we can actually take out this commented out section area because we're gonna continue to leave that section there in that manner. So we can take that out. All right, so outside of the main, we have this aside that's the sidebar. So I'm gonna leave a comment for myself here. Now, maybe you wanna have an area dedicated for ads on the bottom underneath your main content and underneath your sidebar. If you wanna do that, you can either create a section, you could use a div, or you could use a sides. But in this case, I would create another section this would be for, let's say, featured partners. Let's say you have a couple of companies that you're working with or that are looking to advertise on your site. You can place their advertisements here. Now, this would be separate from, let's say, your Google ads or your Amazon affiliate links or something like that. So let's say we would say featured partners. And over here, you can have a couple of um, divs over here. Let's copy that. Let's say you have three of them. Partner one. Partner two. Partner three. So this would be below your content and your sidebar. And with CSS, we could have this positioned side by side so it'll be a three grid section above your footer because in your footer you'll probably have some more navigation or a contact section for your website or maybe some social media links and a copyright information. So you wouldn't have your partner information here, but you could have it up here. Now let's see if this validates. Go back to the browser. Let's reload. Let's view page source. Select all. Copy. And no errors. So now we're getting our different layout options. So we have our featured articles, we have our main articles, we have a sidebar with an unordered list, and then underneath all that, we have our section for our featured partners. Then below here in the footer section, we can add some additional information for our website, like some copyright information and things of that nature. But in this video, I just wanted to touch base a little bit on the document structure and the layout. You have options. The key is to make sure that you use the correct HTML tags for your specific areas of your document. Again, you wanna have semantic markup. You want it to make sense to the browsers and to the screen readers and people using accessibility devices who are visiting your website. And you just wanna make sure you're nesting your tags properly. All right, so that covers it for this video on HTML document structure and layout. In the next video, we're gonna be talking about formatting and semantic tags used for your actual page content. So I'm gonna be introducing brand new tags to you. So definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification icon so that way when I release a new video, you'll be notified. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Happy coding.